video will be very uplifting, hopefully, and will have a lot of good energy. That's why I'm wearing yellow. Should we start? Should we get on with it? Welcome everyone, this is Natalia from Natalka Design and here I am, always in a different place, right? But always with a positive message your way. And today we'll be discussing five tips on how to make yourself feel better right away, like in five minutes, like quick, right now. I need an uplift right now, shall we? As always, sometimes I forget, sometimes I don't, but if I do remember, I would love you to like, subscribe, share, share the love, comment, just be part of our world so that we can create more of these videos and not feel alone in this world called YouTube. <laughs> now, I'm sure some of you, many of us, have felt different things, especially through last year, and there's all these kind of, you know, mood boosters and blogs and things like that, how to feel better. But I want something quick. I want a quick fix, at least for how to feel better. So I'm going to share with you right now five tips. Take it or leave it. Let's try. Take a break. Just take a break. Whatever you've been doing, stop doing that. Do something else. Give your mind space. And I'm not telling go on a floor, meditate, none of that stuff. If you don't feel like it, of course, it's always good to try. But just take a break. Whatever, wherever your mind is, whether you're busy and you're doing stuff or you're actually not doing stuff, just change. Stop it. Do something else. Move. I don't want to tell you what to do, how to move specifically. It's up to you. Move could be dance, go for a walk, swim, run, go on a bike trip. It's up to you. Any sort of movement, as simple as having 10 minute walk, can do wonders to your immune system and you will feel better instantly, whatever, no matter what. Try it, works every time. I'm not going to tell you which one to do. You know how to move if you can. You are so much better off than many, many people out there. If you can, do it because it's never for granted. You're looking at a person that has back problems and everything. So just go out and move, take a break. Move, 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 move. Draw, doodle. Do something on a paper, on a tablet, on the side of a book, whatever you want to do. Drawing is meant to boost your immune system, make you happier, throw in some dopamine into the system. Drawing calms you down, relaxes you, and just puts you in a better mood. And if you can't draw, couldn't care less. Stickmen are fine. I'm not saying become an artist right now. Just express some thoughts and ideas with doodles. Many of you probably journal, write stuff and all that, will write and then doodle one thing, one thing. See how you feel. Call someone you like. I find that some of us are a bit funny with calling these days because I find that maybe we're worried that we're gonna, I don't know, make someone busy, they don't wanna take the call, it's not a good idea, everyone's kind of running around. That's fine, try to call someone you like. If they don't pick up, maybe leave them a voice note or try to call a few other people that you like. Whoever that is, I couldn't care less. It could be your friend, it could be someone you just met, it could be your family. Anyone that you feel like talking to them could boost your mood. And often what happens is it works both ways. So when you actually call them and you just wanna say hi and catch up and say, you know what, I just want to call. How are you? Listening to other person, sharing, makes you both have a better day and instant boost. Do something kind for another human. Whatever that is, doesn't have to be anything massive. You don't need to do anything that will take you all day. It could be as simple as opening door for someone. It could be as simple as helping them carry something. It could be as simple as my neighbor wants to print two papers and I'll do that for them. There's always something going on, right? That you can be kind towards to and show your time and show your mindfulness and just show you're there and you're not just kind of thinking about yourself and the funny thing is study shows that doing something for the other person makes us feel straight away better because it's just a natural thing we're meant to share and do things for each other and help each other that's kind of like in our dna so even if you go for a walk if you see an opportunity, go for it. It could be even buying someone a coffee. My goodness, if I sometimes even, I don't know, get something tiny for my neighbor and that makes her day, like a, I don't know, croissant or something, it just boosts my mood so much. And it's, it's a give and take, but actually I'm getting so much. 
it's crazy. So these were my five little tips how to feel instantly better, like instantly. Try one of them, try all of them. Let me know what kind of things do you do that make you feel better. Um, I want to know, I want to try new things, I want to explore that whole kind of idea of doing things, you know, instantly if you can, can be very simple. So actually, all of them work for me. Let me know if they work for you. If you have any other ideas, please do comment down below and I will hear from you very soon. Bye. By the way, if there's any background noise, forgive me. It's my family. This is where I'm filming and yeah, they don't care. They're cooking for me so they can be loud.